ito na ngayon ang mga activities na gagawin ng mga awards committee. Step 1. Establish the process of untimeliness and timeline, sorry, in accepting nominations and in determining qualifiers for academic excellence award consistent with the policy guidelines. So, yung buwan ng Mayo, dapat meron ng process at meron ng timeline ng awards committee kung, kung sino yung mga qualifiers sa award na general excellence. For step two, they have to seek approval from the school head on process and timelines. So, dapat alam at at noted ni school head kung ano yung mga timeline na ginawa ng mga awards committee. For step 3, they have to communicate the approved processes and timelines to the school community. So, pagkatapos ng ma-approve ni school, ng ma ni school head yung timeline at process na gagawin ng mga awards committee, dapat ma-communicate na nila yung school community. Sino ba yung kasali sa school community? Yung parents, stakeholders, at yung mga kabataan. By the month of June, nabigay na lahat ng communication. Step 4, accept nominees for Academic Excellence Award from the class advisors based on the minimum requirements set by these guidelines. Those that meet the requirements are endorsed to the, to the awards committee by the class advisor. So, si class advisor magbibigay na ngayon ng mga nominado. Ano ba yung mga requirement? Yun lang, dapat umabot ang kanang average ng 90 pataas at walang bagsak sa lahat ng mga learning areas. Step 5, Ensure the accuracy of the computation of grades of each of the candidates and check on their portfolio and supporting documents. So, from June to July, dun na ang pag-check ng accuracy and computation of the grades. So, kailangan din masabit ng mga kabataan ang kanilang students' portfolio para may, ma may evidence ang, ang, ang awards committee sa pag-verify ng accuracy ng kanilang sinabmit. For step 6, submit results of the evaluation and deliberation to the school head for approval. Pagkatapos mag-deliberate, pagkatapos mag-evaluate lahat ng mga papeles, ay gagawa na ngayon ng report ang awards committee at isasubmit ito sa school principal para i-approve. Then ensure that the results of the evaluation and deliberation are communicated to the class advisors, parents, nominees, and school community. So, dapat lahat ng resulta ay dapat ma-communicate, maibigay ang informasyon sa mga advisors, sa mga parents, sa nominee, at sa school community. In case of protest, the, the AC will facilitate its timely resolution. Kung may nagpro-protesta, si awards committee ang magpa-process noon. At ang step, step 8, announce or post the final list of awardees. So, ma-announce na ang kung sino ba ang qualified na mag-award. Again, uulitin natin ang award na ito for this school year ay sa mga grade 6, sa mga grade 10, at sa mga grade 12 learners lamang. For paragraph number 23, the awards committee shall use the report cards and permanent records supported by the learner's portfolio as the main reference for determining the awards. Ito lang yung kukunin ng awards committee. Ang report card ng bata, ang permanent record ng bata, at yung learner's portfolio. The report of the awards committee shall be signed by all members of the committee and certified by the school head. The school head shall approve the final list or awardees upon the recommendation of the committee. If the school head or principal is related within the second degree of consanguinity or affinity to any of the candidates for awards, the school head or principal must inhibit himself or herself from participating in the process. The approval shall come from the person next in rank. Halimbawa, si school principal ay may kamag-anak up to second degree consanguinity or affinity sa mga nominal or kandidato for the award, dapat ay mag-inhibit siya at hindi siya sasali sa process na yon. Sino na ngayon ang piperma? Ang piperma na ngayon ay mula sa person next in rank niya. Lahat ng mga dokumento ay dapat itatago sa office of the school principal or the school head for ready reference. Copies of the results shall be submitted to the schools, district, and division offices. The awards committee through the office of the school head shall release the final list of awardees upon the request of stakeholders for scholarship purposes. So kung may nagre-request, isang bawa, uh, mama ni grade 12 na, na, na nakakuha ng Academic Excellence Award. So kailangan mabigyan siya ng, ng list of awardees 
para sa scholarship purposes. O anong purpose na bakit nila kukunin yung, yung list of honors or list of awards na yun. The awards committee together with the school head shall determine roles and assign tasks to the award. This example, delivery of graduation speech, batch history. So among sa mga nakakuha ng academic excellence, pipili ngayon ang awards committee at ang school head kung sino ang mag-speech speech during the end of school year rights for the graduation or school awarding ceremony which may be done virtually. Now, for paragraph number 27, what awardee will receive. So, ano yung marireceive ng mga awardee? So, lahat ng mga awardees from grade 6, grade 10, and grade 12 will receive medals from the school bearing the official seal of the department. This is enclosed in the Department Order number 63, 2011. Schools are required to follow the specifications to ensure the quality of medals and uphold the prestige of the awards. Examples for Academic Excellence Award with Highest Honors. Ang technical specifications niya ay makakatanggap siya ng gold with high honors, silver with honors, bronze, medal with deped seal, consistent po siya sa guidelines na set na deped order number 31 or the Department of Education Service Marks and Visual Identity in one mile. For diameter size, it should be 6 cm. Ang bigat naman niya ay dapat 30 grams. Ribbon width should be 1 inch. At ang ribbon color, depending on which region po ang school nyo na locate. So paano ba i-conduct ang awarding ceremony? So after all the deliberation, the school must plan the program for the awarding ceremonies. All awardees, including their parents or guardians, shall be informed by the homeroom advisor. The homeroom advisor shall provide the details including the schedule, the program, and the role of the parents and the awardees during the awarding. The awarding ceremony shall be held virtually to conform with the present ruling of the IATF. Schools shall reiterate and communicate with the parents and learners that healthy and safety is top priority. On the pronouncement of awardees, schools shall observe their compliance with Data Privacy Act by ensuring that no personal information of learners shall be posted without the parents' informed consent. So, Pag mag-conduct po tayo ng awarding ceremonies at pag gagawin natin yun virtually, dapat po ay naka-parents naka consent po tayo bago natin ilabas yung, yung personal information ng mga learners. The program should run in less than two hours. Hindi po lalagpas dapat ng dalawang oras para po makonsider ang internet connectivity na makoconsume ng lahat ng titingin. Only the awardees, their parents and guardians, the teachers, and school administrators will be present during the virtual awarding ceremony. The school has the discretion to broadcast live the virtual awarding ceremonies through appropriate social media platforms, and the school shall secure the consent of the parents and learners before doing such broadcast. Again, bago po tayo magbo-broadcast, e kung ilalive man po ang video ng awarding ceremonies ninyo, ay dapat nakasecure po tayo ng parents' consent kasi po, uh, hindi po po pwede na walang parents' consent habang inilalabas natin yung mga information ng kanilang kabataan. So, the following is the indicative program of activities which may be revised or adopted by the school. So, ito po yung proper follow po ng program ng awarding ceremony. So, pwede din po itong e-revise or ma-adapt ng mga paaralan. Letter A, National Anthem. B, the opening prayer. C, the original hymn, the division hymn, followed by the school hymn. Letter D, welcome remarks. Letter E, the inspirational message. Letter F, the presentation of the school officials, the teachers, the guests, the parents, and the awardees. Letter G, the conferment of awards. Letter H, message from the representative of the awardees. And letter I, it's the closing remarks. So nasa sa inyo na po yun kung i-re-revise ninyo ito or i-a-adapt ninyo. In the Conferment of Academic Excellence Awards, the announcement of the names of awardees in each category, example, with high honors, 
with high honors, with honors, and with highest honors shall be done in alphabetical order to observe fair, impartial, and non-hierarchical manner of presenting the awardee. So, dapat alphabetical orders. Mauna yung mga with highest honors, alphabetical. With high honors, alphabetical ulit. With honors, alphabetical ulit. Now, the school shall release an official announcement of the awardees for the school year by posting the list in the school bulletin board. Remember that, na lahat po nang magkakaroon ng award ay dapat mapupost po ang kanilang pangalan sa bulletin board ng inyong paaralan. And shall be communicated through the agreed communication platform that the school has adopted this year in reaching out with the families. Example, email, messenger, SMS, and letter. So that all concerned stakeholders will be informed. So dapat alam po lahat ng mga concerned stakeholders kung ano po ang mga name ng awardees at paano po i-conduct ang awarding ceremonies. For those adopting modular-based instruction with limited or no access at all to the internet, the school may provide a pre-recorded video where the school head shall acknowledge and confirm the award that the learner shall receive. The pre-recorded video may be saved through a USB flash drive or can be shared to the cellular phone of the parents and guardians. The certificate and medal shall be given to the awardees or to the parents and receipt thereof shall be acknowledged accordingly. So para po sa walang mga internet talaga ay mag-shoot na lang ng video ang paaralan na ang school head na mag acknowledge at mag confirm ng award na matatanggap ng bata. The school head may also schedule a date when the parent and awardee may drop by in the school to receive the award and recognition. This must be coordinated properly, ensuring that not all awardees will come to school on the same schedule to ensure social distancing. The awardee, together with his or her parent or guardian, shall receive the award from the principal alongside the respective homeroom advisor. This measure shall be consistent with the guidelines regarding age restrictions among children in going out of the residence and the health and social distancing protocols set by the IATF. Example, may mga protest po tayo. The protest shall be filed by the candidate with his or her parent or guardian to the office of the school head within three working days from the receipt of the announcement of the awards and shall be decided on by the school head considering the recommendations of the awards committee within three working days from filing. The school head shall be primarily responsible in ensuring that the provisions of this policy are properly communicated to all concerned stakeholders in the school. The school head shall lead the implementations of this policy and ensure that teachers shall diligently maintain and keep records of learners' progress as valid basis for giving the award. So lahat ang pinaka may responsibility po ng pag-implement ng DepEd order na ito ay walang iba kung hindi si school head. Isi e siguro din ni school head na yung mga teachers ay nag-follow talaga kung ano ang nakastipulate sa DepEd order na ito. At dapat ay maitago nila ng maayos sa mga record ng bata para may basis sila sa gagawin or ibibigay nilang awards. The regional and the school's divisions offices will jointly monitor and evaluate the compliance of school with these guidelines. So, magmo-monitor ang region at ang school's division offices kung sumunod ba talaga yung mga paaralan sa guidelines na ito. The Curriculum and Learning Management Division and Curriculum Implementation Division shall collaborate with each other in ensuring that provisions of this policy are complied with. 
and the overall policy feedback from the regional offices shall be provided to the Deputy Central Office through the Office of the Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction to be used in evaluating the policy to further enhance its provision should there be a need for continuous implementation brought about by arising challenges in the future with magnitudes similar to the COVID-19 pandemic. So lahat po ng mga policy feedback ay sasubmit po mula sa regional office papunta sa DepEd Central Office para po makita nila kung pwede pa bang i-enhance ang certain provisions na nandito. And questions and feedback relative to this policy shall be addressed to the Office of the Director 4 of the Bureau of Learning Delivery via telephone numbers and in general sa screen at an email address po na binigay nila. And this order shall take effect immediately upon its approval and shall remain in force and in effect for the duration of the school year 2020 to 2021. And this shall be registered with the Office of the National Administrative Register at the University of the Philippines Law Center, UP Diliman, Quezon City. And 41, the Deped Order Number 36, Series of 2016, is still in effect, but its provision inconsistent with these guidelines are suspended for school year 2020 to 2021. This has been Sir Alan Madino. Thank you so much for watching to my vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to click the like button as well as the notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa susunod pa ng mga video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless us all.